I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new to this channel, before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. Today's video, guys, is me going after a 10 pound bass. I'm gonna start this, these uh, new episodes where I go out on certain days and all I do is chase the biggest bass of my life, which is a 10 plus pound bass. Today I went out there and did that with me and Ryan. I know you guys have seen uh, a couple of videos of me and Ryan together. If you haven't, if you're new to the channel, I'll, I'll leave a link down below to those those couple of videos that I have with Ryan. Make sure you check those out if you haven't. And today we went to a, a small lake with tons of giant bass, guys. I mean, this is one of those lakes when anytime you hook up, you better be ready because you don't know what how big this fish is going to be i hope you guys enjoy this video most importantly guys don't forget to keep it real i'll catch you guys on the next one peace Yeah, I was gonna say before we kick it off, let me say a prayer real quick. Let's do it. Heavenly Father, God, thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for all the many blessings, God, that you give us, God. We know that you're a good God. We thank you for your Son Jesus Christ down on the cross for us today, Lord. We just ask you that you keep keep us safe, watch over us, and uh, just be with us throughout the day, Lord. To be your will, we just catch a bunch of fish. And in your Son Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's do this, Ryan. Let's catch that 10 pounder today. If uh, we are on a mission, yep. It's a good point. That point right there is good, too. Um, there's a good point right there in front of you. To your right a little bit. No, to your right a little bit. Oh, right. On the other side of the spillway. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. And this lake has, there's no doubt, this lake has a big shad in it. That's probably why there's so many big fish. Yeah. It's got so much speed on it. A lot of big bait. Uh, once we go around this corner, there used to be some tires. Yeah, it's an eagle. I think. Here, huh? Yeah. I've seen two sevens caught right over there on that side. There's been a couple of eights and nines caught in here too. And when you when you see them when you uh, when you see them firsthand and you know mm -hmm. that they've been caught in here, I'm telling you, they're here. <laughs> Should be, anyways. Cause that's one. That's really what I'm after. Yeah. Is that double digit? Yeah. Now that I know where I can come and have a great chance of catching it. Yeah. Well, I mean, your chances of catching a double digit fish could be anywhere. Right. Uh, but I think well, I'm like you. I think there are percentages of lakes that you could say, mm -hmm. okay, more than likely. Your odds are yeah, a lot your odds greater are. here. This is where the journey begins for me. Mm -hmm. I was reading up on the shad spawn. So, in East Texas, the shad starts to spawn in East Texas after the bass spawn. Mm -hmm. But it's once the water temperature reaches around the 70 degree mark in like April and May. Right. So we're in the middle of the shad. Oh, yeah. Throw that jackhammer. Yes, sir. I'm going to put it on him. It's about to get real. I'm sure I got my drag set right on all my reels. I thought about that earlier. I didn't. Uh, I, 
through that spoke and I thought, man, I'm gonna reset this. Just never know. You can take one time and wish you would have. Yep, that. Yeah. There he is. Nice. Nick? I'll get You good? Alright. He's a pretty good one, eh? Yeah. Make sure. My bad. No, you good, you good, you good, you good. There he is. Yes, sir. First one for Ryan. Wow. We ain't been fishing. We've been fishing 26 minutes. 26 minutes. I got a scale of you if you want to weigh. Yeah, let's weigh. Well, that way throw we them on there. All right. 366. It's 366. 366. Yeah, that's how we'll start the morning. Nice. Another good one. All right. All right. That's a chunky one. Mm -hmm. That's uh. On that underspin. Yeah. Yep. Nice, nice sir. And probably another three, maybe pushing it. Yeah. I'll definitely try. Check. Huh? That'll work. Yes, sir. Nice. Lord. Yes, sir. Really weird. Maybe in the summertime when it's little. In the summer, is it still, uh, do they push out a little bit more out here? I've never caught, well, I say that. There's one. You got one? In a net? No. And they're strong. Yeah, they are. What'd you catch it on? The uh, chatterbait. Yeah, chatterbait, yep. Good fish. Number one for me. Finally, yes, I'm on the board. You wanna weigh that one? Yeah, we can weigh it. It's real quick. Not as big as yours. It sure felt like a, a giant. Yeah. Man, they hit hard. Mm. Two, four, two. Let me take a picture of it real quick. First fish on the on the quest for uh for the ten pounder for me. Yes sir. That's what I mean, man. It's just that's why I say it's just so sporadic out here, yeah. just out in the middle. I don't know, there's something there that holds them out there in the middle. I don't know what it is, but there's something out there. It's crazy how strong they are. Yep. The two pounder that you fall like a five. Mm -hmm. They see that boat and take off diving. Yeah. I noticed that when he got close, he shot yep. back out. Yep. Yeah, that is a good one. Bring me in. There he is. Right there. Yeah, we may be able to just kind of keep working through that spot. Yeah. That's exactly almost where I caught that other one. Yeah. It's a good fish, too. Man, they thumped that dang thing so hard. I'm telling you. It's going to be closer to four. Four and a half. Four, two. It would have been probably a little, I say, four, four. Two kilograms. Looks like it spawned out. Yeah. Say four four, I said four two. Yep. You lucky dog. What is it at? <laughs> On the money. On the money. 
I guess cool. I guess I know a little something yeah. about fishing, I guess. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go off, mama. There she goes. Like she didn't know she was loose for a second. She went right back to where she came from. Yep. Got him? Net? No, I'm good. My drag. I let off on it some a second ago. <laughs> Not a bad one. It's a straight dive. Yeah, they're just like no mercy. Mm -hmm. On the swim bait again, huh? Yep. I mean on the end of spin. That's another solid one. Yep. Hmm, that was nice. I skipped it under that tree. Probably couldn't do it again though if I tried. Yeah. There he is. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Don't don't you do it. <laughs> so you ain't giving out that easy. Nice, nice. Sure. Dump that underscore again. Coming in clutch. You caught me with one and caught that fish with another. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry. That'd be all right. As long as you get the skin, that's nice. No, you didn't get the skin. You doubled up. <laughs> yeah. What you got there? 314. 314. Yes, sir. Nice one. That's yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Pretty colors on it. Still have plenty of fight left in them. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what, what we can make happen here. It's a new spot. Um, but I've never fished on the other side where the boat line is just because I never wanted to get people white. You know? Right. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking this side would be a little bit better. I had one on already, Ron. Yep. It broke me off? Are you kidding? It didn't break you off. Yep. Still got that jig in his mouth. Oh, my knot must have been bad or something. Did you pick it up? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it hadn't even hit the bottom and I felt him. Wow, wow. And then my line was just taking off already. Wow. It had to be my knot. Because this is a brand new line I just put in yesterday. 